All right, guys, so we're studying key applications. So I thought I'd use one of our projects to show you something I think is an important life skill, and it's helped me a lot. And it has to do with both Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word. It's called Mail Merge. So let me show you how to make labels that you can use for Christmas cards or to address letters when you have a list of multiple people that you want to send the same thing to. So here's the assignment and I've sent you a list of all the students in our class that you can use. So go ahead and download it. That'll plop into your downloads folder and then you're going to be opening Microsoft Word. You'll click mailings and you'll start mail merge. You'll click step by step mail merge wizard. You'll choose labels and we're not going to use Microsoft labels. You'll use Avery and you'll choose the ones called 5160 easy peel and you'll select recipients you'll click browse and you'll choose the class list let me show you how it happens so I already downloaded my Microsoft Excel document you can tell it's an Excel document because of the XLSX so now I'm going to open Microsoft Word I'll open a blank document and I'm going to choose mailings and I'm going to start a mail merge. I'm going to go down and I'm going to use the mail merge wizard. Once you get to know what you're actually doing then you can you can go and you can start from different points here but let's go through step by step. I'm going to make some labels so I'll choose labels and I go down here to starting document your label options is where you choose what kind of labels that you bought. So I'm going to scroll down until I find Avery US Letter. And then you choose the model number that you bought. And you can buy any labels from Office Max or Amazon or Target or wherever. And they look like this. They're just little stickers. So by choosing the correct one, it's going to format it to the exact size of those stickers. So scroll down, they're in, in order. So 5160 is the model that I'm showing you. You too, man. Take care. And then you select your recipients. Okay, we're going to use an existing list. We're going to use that Excel document that I gave you. So you browse for that list. And you'll find it in your downloads folder. And there it is. Open it. I did not put any titles on there, so there's no headers. So I need to uncheck this box and just click OK. And you'll see here, this is the information that was in the list. Male or female, grade level, and your names. You could sort it if you wanted to put it in a different order. You could get rid of duplicates and click OK doesn't look accurate, does it? It's just showing you that it's automatically going to go to the next record for each one. So now what we have to do is insert our merge fields. We're putting male or female. We're putting grade level. And we're putting names. Okay? And then, once you have everything that you want on a label, you update all labels by clicking Arrange Labels, Update All Labels, and then you'll see every single one will be updated with the merge fields that you chose. So now I can preview my labels and see what, what it looks like. And right now it looks like Ryan's name is on all of them. But if I preview my labels, you'll see each time it said Next Record, it went to the next record on that Excel document. So all of our students in our class are here. 
Now, it looks pretty ugly, so I'm going to go ahead and go Previous, Arrange my labels, and I'm going to kind of fancy this up a little bit. I think I want the, the name to be on top. So I'm going to go ahead and just highlight this information here. Go Control X, and I'm going to put it afterwards, Control V. And then between these arrows, I'm going to hit Enter. I also want to center everything, so I'm going to go Home, and I'm going to center everything. You can also spend some time and choose a font style that you like. That one looks kind of cool. And I didn't want this M to show up for the grade level, so I don't know why that got populated, but I can just take that out. And then I'll put some spaces here. And you can also take out the line and this line. And once it's the way you want it, um, you could even put in a picture if you wanted to. You could insert a picture. Maybe you want a picture of a computer. I'll just choose one. I'll insert it. And it's way too big, so I'll just click in front of the text to format that picture. And you got to be careful because you don't want it to be so big that it goes outside of your label. So I'll put it right here and you'll see why in a second. So I'm going to update all my labels. And it's going to put this computer here. And then I'll go preview my labels. And that doesn't look good. So I'll put this right here instead. I'll go back to previous, arrange, update my labels, preview my labels. And that looks pretty good. So you could fancy it up with some other stuff. But that's the main idea. Now you want to save your labels. Save as. Put it on your PC. I'm going to go ahead and plop it into my downloads folder. And I'll call it IC3 class labels. I'll save it and then you can turn it in. If you want to fancy it up a little bit, go for it. I'll go back to previous. I'll arrange my labels. Maybe I want to put like a some sort of border around. Don't get carried away, Mr. Potts. I'll put a border. I can go to borders and shading if I really want to get carried away. And I can choose one of these. That looks pretty cool. Now, I really need to be careful though. I don't want to make it too big because if I make it too big, it's going to go outside of the parameters of the label dimensions that we program. So anytime we move things around, you could possibly move it too big or too small or, or do something. So I'll update all my labels. Preview my labels. And apparently didn't like that border. Alright. But you get the point. You can customize. I'll go ahead and take off that border because it's messing things up. So I'll click on no border. No border. Borders and shading. None. And then I'll complete my merge. Update. Preview. Complete. Now in order to see both pages, notice you only see about half of our class right now. You have to click Edit Individual Labels and click All. Click OK. And then you'll see both pages of them. And you'll see we didn't use them all. That's OK. File. Save. I see three class labels. And save it. Doesn't want me to save it over that. That's okay. 
So then you can turn it in. Have some fun.